car has potential energy, but it has zero kinetic energy because it's not moving when it's sitting at the top of the ramp. So we know that at the top, kinetic energy equals zero. Now we got to look at the bottom of the ramp. At the bottom of the ramp, the car is moving, so it has kinetic energy, but the car is on the ground, it's on the tabletop, which means it lost all of its potential energy because it reached the bottom. So that means potential energy at the bottom of the ramp is zero. So your conservation of energy equation is comparing the potential energy at the top of the ramp to the kinetic energy at the bottom of the ramp. If these two numbers are equal, then energy was conserved. If these two numbers are not equal, energy was not conserved. That's the goal of this experiment, okay? So again, in this theory section, you wanna write down the names of each of these equations, you know, the to average time, average velocity, kinetic energy, potential energy, conservation of energy. And you want to explain how you are going to use each of these five equations. Okay. Explain how you're going to use each of them. All right. Next, we have the material section. Uh, very straightforward section. You're just going to write down all the materials you used in this lab. Then we have the procedure section. You're just going to simply write down um, everything in the procedure. So there is actually a post-it document on Google Classrooms that goes through the, what the procedure is. Just take that, shorten it a bit, and that's going to go in your lab. Then we have the data analysis section. So the data analysis section includes two things. First, your data table with all of your recorded measurements, then all of your calculations, okay? So all the calculations from these, uh, from these equations are going to go underneath this table. So you're actually going to plug in the values in this table into these equations right up underneath here, and you'll write all the answers out. Okay, a couple things about your data table itself. So you're going to have six different values, the mass of the car, the height of the stack of books, delta Y, the length between the two lines, delta X, and then the three time trials. You're going to have to get the units right for your data table. The mass of the car should be in kilograms. The height of the stack of books should be in meters. The distance between the lines should be in meters. And all the time trials should be in seconds. Now, you're going to have to do some unit conversion work here because the mass, the scale in our classroom measured the mass in grams. You're going to have to convert that to kilograms. You can actually look that up online. That's fine. Uh, the meter, the height of the stack of the books and the lot distance between the two lines. You measured that with a ruler measuring it in centimeters. You're going to have to convert that to meters. Um, again, you can use, you can do that online. That's fine. And then the three time trials you took were actually already in seconds. So you don't have to convert that. All right. Next, or finally, there's going to be a conclusion. The conclusion, again, should state what you found out, okay? Was energy conserved? Was energy not conserved? You definitely need to let me know. Um, and then also I need some values. So if you tell me energy was conserved, then you also need to tell me in the, in the conclusion what was the kinetic, the kinetic energy at the bottom of the ramp and what was the potential energy at the top of the ramp. I need to know in order for you to tell me that energy was conserved. Again, if energy was not conserved, I still need you to tell me the calculated values for potential and kinetic energy so that I can see what you calculated so that I can, you know, confirm that what you're saying is true. All right. Great. So again, that's everything that you need. Um, if you have any more questions about this, if you've already completed the lab, but you couldn't submit it because of issues with Google Classroom. I'm about to make another video about the steps you need to go through in order to properly uh, submit your lab to Google Classroom. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Panther Pride.